travel day. Feels so weird to say that. I'm oh, so excited. But before we tell them, I look different. <laughs> yeah? What? God, you can weave a blanket. Welcome back, family travelers. We're so happy you're here. You might notice this is not, it's not our standard lounge that we come to you starting. We're driving ourselves. This is crazy. This is the very first time that we have been out of our town since March. And it's July 1st. How crazy is that? Oh. It, it, it feels so strange to like be out driving and like looking at life outside of our town. It's surreal. Very. So this is going to be an interesting trip. Where are we going? We are going to the backwoods of Wisconsin. Kettle Moraine camping. And not just any camping, tent camping. <laughs> My god, let's turn around now. We have to make a short stop at McDonald's because it's 5.40 p.m. and we have two hungry children and we anticipate it's gonna be a lot of work once we get to the campsite. Can I have a cheeseburger Happy Meal with uh, ketchup only? Okay. Thanks, you too. You have to do this. All right, I'm stuffed. Right, good dinner. Nothing yep. like a good old fashioned. Mickey D's before you get to camping. Right? Too bad we didn't get any like epic b-roll of you know the cheeseburgers Just, yeah, or whatever. Like, and, and no, we had to have a good old-fashioned tailgate party. <laughs> this time last year we were having conveyor belt sushi getting ready to go to Disney Sea in Tokyo. Oh man. My yeah. how the world changes. We have about what 15 minutes left and then we'll be there so we're gonna finish out the rest of the drive and we will see you once we get to the campground. Olivia, what do you think of this place? Are you gonna help Daddy set up the tent? Yep. We've made it to Bugland. There are so many mosquitoes. So I'm putting together our home where I'm not leaving for the next four days. <laughs> this will only take a second. There's Nick, chasing Everett. And so it starts. Shortly we'll give you a little tour of the tent, but let's take a look at the campsite first. He's already spending most of his time in the dirt. I imagine that's where he'll live. Show us around. Well, here we have the grand ballroom, <laughs> dining, the kitchen, the bar. Conveniently located next to our bedroom which is right off the stove. And our neighbors are over there in the back. We have adjoining rooms. Adjoining rooms, I like that. We did get welcome beverages. Get welcome so beverages. cheers. That's about it. The tent tour will be next, but that, that gives you a little idea of what we're working with here. Kids are making themselves right at home. And uh, we're just trying to get settled before it turns dark and not get bit by too many mosquitoes in the process. Olivia has already made how many requests to open food? A thousand? About a thousand, thousand requests to open food. If you watch it for one second, I have to pee. Where are you going pee? Right there. Over to the bathroom? No. All right, everything's set up. Now we're gonna venture over to the bathrooms. It looks like we have to go through this little foresty area to get there. I'm not so much looking forward to this every time because I'm not gonna lie, 
I'm a little bit nervous of all the ticks. I feel like there's a lot of ticks in Wisconsin especially and then all these wooded areas. So I was like walking like this the whole way, but hopefully it just gets easier as we go. First one was a little rocky though, not gonna lie. I like to see that. I'd also like to use this time to point out that I have not seen one other site where people have only tents. It's like every person here has an RV and we do not, we have tents. So I'd like to say we're kind of like getting out there, being adventurous. Ooh, some of these sites look nice. Okay, I also want to point out that on this entire journey to the bathroom and back, I am the only person that I've seen wearing a mask. So, I'm not judging, but who am I kidding? I am judging. Wear your masks, people. Good morning. Last night, night kind of fell fast as it tends to do. We had to get the campsite all set up and get the kids fed and get the kids in bed and, you know, darkness doesn't really lend itself to filming too much, so. We're off to get some ice, some water, and some firewood so that way we can, you know, have our coffee because I need it. We'll show you around the campground more when we get back. Welcome home, as we like to say. We didn't give you the, the official tour of the tent yesterday, so we figured that would be today's plan. So, we are going to start with, um, what, do you, what do we want to call this? The patio, the lanai, however you want to oh, call I it. Like lanai. lanai. Okay, let's go with that. So, there's like one main room and then there's this little like lanai that you can so you can untie this and zip this all the way so that this can be fully enclosed or you can keep this side open or follow me around you can unzip over here and now then you know if you do all the stuff to tie that back now you can have air moving through the whole thing and it's really really nice because it's hot as heck out here so having like an airy space that's still shade is like amazing so next we're going to go into the main room this is the sleeping area so if you come in main. oh we have here's riley's dog bed down here um we have a little potty set up for olivia so that you know she doesn't have to go to the actual bathroom the public restroom because one, she's four, so when she has to go, she has to go. And two, we're in the middle of a pandemic, so, you know. Oh, and then our shoe area. This is where we keep our shoes before entering the tent. Um, so I'm gonna take mine off. Now, if you are wondering how you can have a four-year-old, a one-year-old, and two adults in a five-person tent. And a dog and a dog in a five person tent, but also have like two air mattresses and a pack and play. This my friends is how you do it. So we'll link to our tent, but really you can, if you have like a similar size tent, you can kind of set it up this way and it'll still fit as long as it's, you know, around this size. But um, one of the things that's the best is like, look at all this headroom in here. You don't have to duck everywhere you go. It's like, you have so much space. So that's super nice. Um, Here's our bed. This is a queen size air mattress. We've made it all up to be a little bit more comfortable out here in the wilderness. And then we have next to it, Olivia's bed. So that's a twin size air mattress. She has her blankets, her flashlight, her sleeping bag, the whole setup. And then this is Everett's bed. So this is where he slept last night. This is the pack and play. And seriously, like he did just fine. We were two feet away from him all night and he went to sleep like that. There's a little storage off to the side, a little extra room for storage. So we have Olivia's backpack and some clothes. That's in, that's in main tent aft. Yes, that's the main tent aft area. <laughs> um, where I'm currently standing is where Riley sleeps. So there's a sliver of room and he, he can fit there. He can curl up and be cozy down there. Um, and then in the daytime when we're not sleeping, of course, that's our our walkway, our entrance, if you will. Um, and then on this side, we we have a window here to allow for the breeze because it is hot today. 
Um, but you can also, we had this closed at night and you can close this if you want a little bit more privacy. There's also two windows on the side that you can keep open or close those as well. I'm not really sure what the string does. I guess this hanging is- hanging up wet bathing suits. Hanging up wet bathing suits. So if you have a wet bathing suit, you can do that. We have not yet gone to the lake yet, but that's in our plans too to show you. So once we go to the lake, maybe we'll show you that feature. There are two exits, one in the front. I don't know how to do this and I work in the airline industry, but two in the back and um, yeah. Now if you spin around, the last little feature I want to show you, um, we have a nice little storage area here. So currently we put like electronics in here. I have my contact case so that I can easily find that. But there's like three little, you know, whatever you call these, little pockets. Nets. Pockets. That you can um, fit whatever you want like easy access to without digging in your lung luggage. Now you're probably wondering where, where do we put our luggage because there's clearly none here and we need luggage. We stored that in the car because with as many of us as there are, there's just no way to make that all fit in here. You could probably store it right outside in the lanai area too, but I mean, the car is two feet away from us, so we thought that was just as convenient. That's pretty much the place. Glad we got to show it to you and we'll see what's next. We'll catch up with you in just a little bit, but for you, it'll be like three seconds. I'm sweating from that like tent tour. It is hot. Well, so we've stepped out of the tent and into into the kitchen slash living quarters slash recreation area slash playroom here it is this is the fire pit this is where the magic happens now we've got fire we haven't started it yet we, we did one last night it was nice we'll wait until it cools down a little bit to get round two going but this is the site it's great two big tents big parking lot what more could you ask for and this was Nick's genius creation. A bucket full of ice. Oh, Keeps yeah. him busy, huh? Oh, that's nice and cold. Oh, don't you dare. No! <laughs> <laughs> That was refreshing. We uh, we were able to find a little sliver of space for the kids to get wet for a minute and cool down. So we're gonna try back later. Hopefully all these people will have their fill and then we'll actually have some beach space. But for now, it's Dad. back to the campsite. Dad, When last you saw us, we were walking back, you know, go make some lunch or dinner, whatever, it's all running together. Mm. Grilled some burgers, made patty melts, delicious, over the fire. Oh. Camp food's great. They were very, that's like probably one of my favorite things about camping is just the camp food, the campfire food. Right? Anyway, that's gonna do it for us today. We are wiped. Maybe we'll figure something else out for tomorrow. Yeah, there. I mean, camping with two young kids is no joke. Uh, it's doable, but when you add the heat into it and the social distancing, yeah, it's uh, it's rather exhausting. Yeah. It's, to put it mildly, <laughs> I snorted. <laughs> That's how tired we are. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm really happy you joined. Make sure you subscribe, like us on social, all that good stuff, and stay tuned for uh, some more camping episodes. I'm told there might be a culinary excursion video. Ooh. So I don't know what that means yet, but <laughs> I'm sure we're going to enjoy it. Stay tuned for it. <laughs> and until next time. Bye.